What's up guys, we're back and I'm taking a look at some more NBA player props, this time over on Prize Picks. This video can apply to other apps and also sportsbooks out there, so this video is going to be for everybody. But we've been absolutely killing it as of late. My Prize Picks left tonight winnings over $5,700. I'm looking to get some more wins today. Let's do it. Let's get in and hopefully get some winners. Before we go any further though, make sure you guys check out the Dub Club. The link for it is down in the description below with a two-day free trial. You guys can join right now, see if it's something that you guys like. It's two days completely for free and I recommend joining because we've been at Absolutely on fire. Like I said, my lifetime net winnings on prize picks are right there. I'm a consistent winner when it comes to this player prop stuff. But here's some of our winners from last night. We had a winning day yesterday. So close to cashing out the, the uh, flex right here. I think De'Aaron Fox could have came through in the fourth quarter. He really could have, but that game ended up being a blowout there. Almost had a sweep, by the way. De'Aaron Fox is the only leg away from the sweep. Had a half unit win right there. And then we also had a win right here on parlay play. So some NBA and some NHL yesterday. The day before that, though, we freaking absolutely killed it. You guys can see all the winners here. So we've been absolutely on fire when it comes to the dub club two day free trial join completely for free down in my description below but if you guys want to join and you don't know what dub club is it is a messaging service that sends all the entries that i make straight to your phone so everything that i play it gets sent straight to your phone you guys can lock in whatever entries that i play if you're interested in them my plays come for a bunch of different sports as you guys can see right there for and i've been sending my plays out to over 2.3 thousand subscribers but these are the ways you guys can receive my plays through the dub club app email telegram or discord however you guys want to receive my plays they can get sent to you that way but with that being said let's get into what you guys are winning for the player props just if you guys are not already on prize picks and you want to join use that promo code dmg that will get you a first time deposit match up to 100 link is down my description below if you guys are not already on prize picks there's a free square right now and patrick mahomes so uh you know that's a free square i mean it's a free play right there for you guys that's uh, looking pretty good there so patrick mahomes over half a passing yard there if you're interested in that but just play responsibly at your own risk you guys can get some more free plays over in the discord like i said completely for free so make sure you guys go ahead and check it out tons of free plays there but uh let's get into it here first player prop that i like is going to be over in the rebounds and assist category so in the rebounds plus assist let's scroll down until we find the golden state warriors game today because i like Jamon green over 12 rebounds and assists today against the Phoenix Suns. Let's take a look at why I like this prop so much. So Draymond here, let's head over to props.cash and look at this. So he is over this this season in 50% of games. So not anything super crazy. However, he has been very, very good in his last few games, especially his last 10. He's over in six of his last 10 and 64% of his last 15 games. But why is this? His role has kind of uh, been switching around here. He's playing a lot more center than he was before. And uh, it's been leading to a lot more rebound chances. And he's still dishing out the same amount of assists that he kind of was before. He's been really, really good with the assist lately as well so first off here i'm gonna look at his minutes though because his minutes have also been trending up you take a look at his last few games here like his last what is this you know eight games he's played a, consistently about 27 plus minutes here so we look at games where he's played 27 plus minutes which he's done in what we say seven of his last eight games uh he's been very very good this year though he's been over this in 67 percent of games this year and that includes over 10 straight or actually 10 straight exactly and two of his misses by the way were with 11 rebounds and assists right there dub club was able to get him at 11 and a half by the way so there's some extra value in the dub club there but in home games as well he's been very very good you can see what he's done in home games not anything to worry about there with the home game let's take a look at the matchup now for draymond green like i said he's been playing a little bit of center it seems and the suns are pretty good when it comes to defending rebounds per game against center so far this year at 13.01 but take a look at the last seven games they've been allowing a lot more rebounds they are kind of in the middle of the pack now around 14.44 rebounds per game so not crazy matchup they are pretty good against assist to centers but i mean that's also factoring in guys like clink capella he's not gonna have the same assist numbers like you know like draymond greenwill or demonta sabonis i mean there's just i just hate the assist numbers taking a look at uh, against centers so i will say that but uh you know all centers are different in general like draymond green's not gonna grab the same amount of rebounds as Jokic would so i mean th th those numbers can be kind of skewed but still i think the matchup is pretty good here for draymond green and uh, i like the miss that he's been seeing lately i like how he's been kind of just playing i mean He's been having a lot of rebound and assist opportunities, and I expect those to continue today. I also do not mind the over six rebounds either. I think the over six rebounds might even be a, a better spot on prize picks rather than the 11 and a half, um, or rather than the 12 rebounds and assists. But I do think that uh, six number for rebounds is also very, very nice. So I like both those spots there uh, over on prize picks today. Dream on green over 12 rebounds and assists or over six rebounds. I think both are pretty solid spots, but I personally played them over 11 and a half rebounds and assists and the dub club is also able to get him at that number but let's hop into player prep number two here and the second player prop here we're actually doing three player props in today's video because these two at the end of the video are just going to be some leans that i have not yet played dream on green is going to be the main play today and i have two leans here that i'm gonna look at here but 
I will have more plays, of course, over on the Dub Club and probably over on Twitter and also in the free Discord if I do, if I do get some uh, more pairs up for you guys for free today. But we're going to head over to the NBA first half category because I like Markel Fultz over eight and a half first half PRA. If you don't know what that is, by the way, maybe you're new to prize picks, NBA first half is the category on the board. Click on PRA and you guys can find Markel Fultz over eight and a half first half PRA. So this is a lean that I have here. So anything super crazy. He's over some 10 out of 19 games so far this year, but look at his minutes that he's been playing lately. He had a lot of games with like a minute restriction or just not really being factored in the lineup too much, which is why this hit rate is so low. But take a look at games where he's played 13 or more minutes. He's been very, very good this year. You can see with 13 plus minutes, he's over this in 10 out of 14 games, which is 71%. This number is a little bit low at eight and a half, which definitely doesn't make it like a safe player prop. I mean, he's fallen on the hook uh, either way, three times. He's at eight, nine, and nine. I mean, three different times this year. So I will say that is definitely kind of a worry. But uh, home games, not anything super crazy there. Games with one day of rest, nothing super crazy there either. I think it's just a pretty solid spot. I don't mind the matchup here against Chicago. He's been pretty good against them in the past, but that was both last season, not anything this year. So can't really take that into too much account, but I do not mind really the matchup here against the Bulls. They've been really good against point guards this year when it comes like points per game and rebounds per game. But in the last seven games, they've been a little bit, uh, they've been a little bit easier when it comes to those points per game. If we take a look at the Bulls here, they allowed 22.75. They've still been really, really good with the rebounds, but the assists here they're all, they're all still giving up quite a bit they're allowing 9.1 per game so not anything crazy with the matchup i think it's a fine matchup i like the hit rate that he's been doing here uh he's just been playing for more first half minutes and he's been playing better in the first half just in general he's over his full game pra by the way in only 47 percent of games there he's fallen on the hook actually three times there uh, so I do like the spot here for his first half PRA over eight and a half. Personally, I've not played that yet. It's just kind of a lean that I have for, for uh, right now. But if I do end up playing that, of course, it'll be over in the dub club and possibly on Twitter or Discord as well. Uh, so that's the first lean that I have. The second lean here is also going to stay in this first half category here. And I'm going to find the New York Knicks game here, which is going to be a little bit lower on the list here. So the Knicks game. Um, cause I like Jalen Brunson over 21 first half PRA. I think he's in a pretty nice spot as well. Let's go back to props.cash and look at why. So Jalen Brunson here, he's over this in 28% of games this year, 12 out of 43. However, look at his last few games here. He's over this in quite a few of his last 10 games, four out of eight with two pushes there. I think the floor is really, really nice at 21 here. But uh, look at games where he's played 16 plus minutes, but also look at his field goal attempts here. These last three games specifically, he's had 14 or more field goal attempts. A lot of this has to do with there being no Julius Randle anymore, Mitch Robinson being hurt, and their team is being really, really banged up as a whole. I mean, they've been absolutely getting killed on injuries this year. But he's over this in 9 out of 15 games this year when he kind of sees those same amount of minutes and field goal attempts there. He's been very, very good. Some of the games where he missed, though, if you take a look at his field goal attempts or his field goal percentage, he's at 33% shooting, 33%, 40%, 42%. When he's usually shooting a little bit better than that. I mean, just even in this sample size here, he's shooting about 51.8%. So he's been very, very good when it comes to his shooting percentage. Just as long as he doesn't shoot bad in today's game, I think he will hopefully go over this 21 first half PRA. By the way, I don't really recommend personally. I hate this. I mean, just just my opinion. I hate three picks. So I don't recommend putting all three of these guys together. At least I personally would not. You guys do what you want maybe you guys like three picks but i personally hate three picks so i would not be pairing these three together personally but i just thought i'd throw that out there before someone throws all three of these together because that's just really really bad expected value but he's also been very good against indy in the past he's had he's hit both these marks before with 24 pra against them this year and uh, he's, he's just been uh, pretty good. The other game here against Indy was back in December there. And uh, in that game, he saw 19 minutes, but only had 11 field goal attempts there. And he also shot 36% against them. So this time without Julius Randle, I think he's going to be in a much better spot. Leads to more assist opportunities and rebound opportunities as well for that PRA. So that's why I kind of like him today uh, with the Knicks team still being banged up and with him being in a really, really nice matchup here against the Pacers. So those are the three player props that I like in today's video. One main play, two leans, and uh, that's pretty much going to do it, guys. We are, by the way, undefeated in the dub club when it comes to NHL. We are 5-0 and since the return of NHL, so we've been absolutely killing it with the NHL. Looking to dive into that today, major 13-game slate there. So I'm going to do that after this video. going to start researching some NFL. I'm at NHL, but also some NFL as well. we got the Super Bowl coming up here tomorrow, so... Super excited for that as well. I'll see you guys over in the Dub Club. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. Best of luck. I'll see you guys there.